Did it! Ah! Come on! One side done. What? Sleigh bells ringing. Diamonds blinging. Carol singing. Favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing. Diamonds blinging. Carol singing. Favorite Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 12. I woke up this morning so hungover. I actually woke up in Vegas. We woke up in Vegas. I was so hungover. I had my flight around like 1 p.m. So we got to sleep in, had breakfast. I ordered this poutine at this place and it was so cool. They had like, it wasn't gravy. It was like fries with cheese and beef and it slapped and there was an egg on top of it. Oh, so good. But made it back to LA. <laughs> and I think today it's, I kind of wanted to be like kind of a chill vlog. So I thought that maybe we can make that DIY pendant light. My friend let me borrow one of their like tools so that I can like really get in there. But I tried using my drill last time and it was so hard I couldn't drill into the baskets. So fingers crossed this like little plier thing, not plier, like little scissor thing works. Who is that? Who is that? Uh... coffee I feel alive again even though I'm like still a little hungover and I'm like acting like coffee is not gonna make me like feel even worse but I have been drinking a lot of water so I deserve it right <laughs> But here's the DIY. Emily told me how to do it. Which, by the way, if you guys want to see what my room is going to look like, you have to watch Emily's video. I'm trying to get her video to 100,000 because she deserves it. And she's just like a queen. She's so talented at decorating rooms. And if you're into interior design, her stuff is so cool, even on TikTok. But I was looking on Pinterest and like seeing how everyone does this DIY. These are all the supplies that I got. I've seen on YouTube people will get these kind of like, I don't know what this is called, pliers. <laughs> my friend, let me borrow them. To cut the baskets, basically what we're going to be doing is a DIY pendant light above my bed. Fingers crossed it doesn't fall on me in my sleep, but I basically am getting these three pendant lights and I have to put a hole in all three of these somehow. I don't know how. Hopefully it's not too hard because they're pretty tough. But they were all like, how much was them? They're like three bucks each. So if I messed it up, I could always go back to Goodwill and buy more. What people would do is they put it in like this and then screw it on like that on the baskets. Oh my God. I hope it's not as hard as I think it is. <laughs> I just gave myself a pre reward refill because, you know. <laughs> Let's go to my room. Oh my God. Also, look at what came in the mail. I thought that I showed it maybe in a vlog. <laughs> The wallpaper for this wall. I'm gonna start off by making my bed. Okay, Google, turn on Adeline's room lights. Okay, turning on two lights. Oh, <laughs> okay, Google, turn Adeline's room lights white. All right, changing two lights to white. You're on the bed, baby. Also, Blue loves this pillow. She's always like burrowing herself in it, like taking a nap on that specific pillow. Mm -hmm. I feel like Popeye, you know how he has to have like his spinach before he like accomplishes something? I feel like I have to drink my coffee. Hopefully I've watched enough YouTube tutorials that I can do it. These are the things to hang it up, pliers. Let's start out this basket looks, I mean, appears to be the easiest. So I'm gonna try to do my best. I'm gonna try actually outlining the circle on the basket right in the center. Okay, right, that's like a little rough. Let's pray together. I'm gonna start out with a small circle and then hopefully build my way. <laughs> Slowly getting there. I don't know why, but I'm like sweating. Also, this is a super cute DIY if you're really into boho aesthetic. Because I was looking online, pendant lights with the baskets are like $100 for just one of the baskets. They're so expensive. And I think this whole DIY, I think the this light and then the baskets were around, this light was like 20 bucks and the baskets were all around like $4 each. So like less than $30 for this light. I mean, if you're not including the light bulbs, but they never come with the light bulbs. Woo! It's got it in my eye! Should I put wear protective eyewear oh my god I, f I feel like i have like three left but she's just a little wonky circle fingers crossed we can like wiggle it through that's what the girl did in her tutorial at least a single mom that works two jobs who loves her kids and never stops okay huh. first one i made a hole i tried to make it small so that we could like wiggle it in hello <laughs> let's give her a whirl oh my god ah! oh my god we did one! I'm scared! Because this one was like easy to cut through and now we have these ones. These ones look a little scary and intimidating. Let me take off the Goodwill. <laughs> we didn't get it from Goodwill, we got it from Anthropology, bitch! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the exact same to these two baskets. Time lapse. This one 
got me sweating. Ah, did it. Woo! Okay, just one more. Oh my god. Okay, now I saved the best for last. This is my prized possession that I found at the thrift store. This Williams Sonoma basket. Oh, I'm sad that we're cutting through it, but it's gonna look so good together with these three. Um, I'm gonna start off by cutting off the handles. I, I should cut off the handles, right? Yeah, I'm gonna cut off the handles. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I like that boom boom pow. Them chicks is jag my style. They try to copy my swag. I'm on their next sh now. And then we'll start with the whole. Uh -huh. god okay let's hang it <laughs> in the picture she kind of has like different lengths and different like one in the front and then two on the side so i'm gonna try and do it it comes with like some hangers fingers crossed she doesn't fall on me in my sleep <laughs> but let's let's give her a whirl Like it's definitely a little like wonky in the back, but oh, let's go straight down and then plug her in. Oh no, I might need an extension cord. Ah, uh, we need an extension cord. Oh, that felt good. Oh, or maybe put it on the other side. I think the other side there's an outlet that's closer down the center and then plug her in. Woo! Okay, I'm not gonna plug it in quite yet, but I wanna add the light bulbs. Where's light bulbs? I think they're outside. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this situation, <laughs> but it's the best that I could do, okay? Here we are, the lights. I think I have two in here. I'll just bring them all. Everyone was asking me about these lights. I literally just got them on Amazon. This is like the brand that I got. I don't know, it's just like, I just searched up color changing light bulbs that connect to Google Home. And there was one at the very top, but it had all bad reviews, but this one had all good reviews, so I got it. And I honestly really like it. These two are using the light bulbs but it was pretty easy to set up. I feel like if you set up one Google Home thing, they have YouTube tutorials on how to do it. I feel like that's whatever I need to do. I always just search up YouTube tutorials. Like even this basket, I saw a YouTube tutorial on it. I'm gonna put in the light bulbs. Oh no, the lid keeps coming off of this one. I just know this one's gonna be troublesome. Dos. I could call bullshit up from a mile away. I've been obsessed with Moda Promiscuous Remix. On, <laughs> it's on Spotify. Chris, let's see, I'm gonna plug it in. Oh! Oh my god. Now I just need to connect it to my Google Home and then, oh my god, we can make the lights. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Everybody in the club, put your hands in the air. Whenever I set up the Google Home lights, I always feel like there's like a demon. Okay, we got one out of th the three connected. Come on. It takes like a minute. I'm surprised they let me connect all three at once. I thought I'd have to do it one at a time. Look how easy it's just connecting right now. Oh, I love these. <laughs> and they're so much cheaper than the Philips Hue ones. The Philips two ones are so expensive but these i got in a pack of four they're really not that bad okay added okay cool now i'm gonna add to my google home <laughs> it's literally called Alpha apple megatron from when meg used to live here hey miss meg okay i just do add setup device and then works with google and then i think this one's called like treat life yeah check for new devices yes add the three oh i think i have to do it one at a time adeline's room add oh my god i was adding these lights to my google home and i accidentally turned my brother's room light it's red and he was like what the fuck is happening i was like sorry i told google to turn your lights red by accident i meant to do mine he was so tripped out <laughs> okay they should all be connected okay google turn adeline's room lights pink oh i need to plug in my google <laughs> i unplugged it because it wouldn't stop playing music okay google turn adeline's room lights pink sure changing five lights to pink oh, oh my god that's so cute Oh my god, this is such a vibe. Especially if it was at night, then the whole room will be pink. And we could do any color. We could do red. But you know that time. I'm pretty sure that you could do rainbow too. I just have to figure it out, like have it alternate like different colors. But this is so trippy. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, Google. Got it. Changing five lights. Okay, another thing that I wanted to do in today's vlog is I kind of wanted to style the shelves. I have all my bags and stuff, especially my new one. I have all my bags in my closet right now, but I wanted to kind of display them on the shelf. I think I have some like fake plants, which could look kind of cute, or we could go to Target and get new fake plants. But let's style her, make it look cute. Look at how safe <laughs> do you feel? I feel safe, <laughs> and they're not that heavy. So even oh, yeah. if they did fall on me, like I would just be like, uh -huh. I would just be a little scared oh. if like the 
glass like shattered, but I don't think it will do that. <laughs> also, watch this. Okay, Google, turn Adeline's room lights pink. Got it. Changing five hey. lights to pink. Mm. Circle. Good job! Aww. Good job! Okay, what is that chicken? I want a little. Oh! Thank you. Oh, it looks good. Maybe yeah. you did all this so fast. I know. Okay, here's my bags. They're kind of, it's not the best organization. They're all squished on the side right here. But I have these organizers. I don't know if they will like fit because I didn't even think of it. I don't know if they'll fit and... Oh my god! <laughs> to put on the top i didn't even think of like measuring it but at dior they have like the big ones and the small ones so i want to see if i could find a smaller one and maybe put it in here and put it some more. i wish that i feel like it'd be cute if i had all the saddlebags like all together but i literally i use this on the most and i can't imagine myself like literally going up to the top and like getting the bag every single time so i put it in the bottom this is what it looks like these are like my favorite, favorite, favorite bags. And then I'm going to do the other side. I kind of like tried to color scheme it too. But here's the other bags I have to put up. Also, I am literally listening to Trisha on TikTok. She's like live talking about her wedding. One side done. On to the other. Oh my god. Now we have so much room for my bag collection to grow. Oh my god. them because I felt like when you first walk into my door this is the first side that you see and also just thinking about like the bags and stuff like that the sun from the window right here is probably gonna go on the bags over here so the bags on the left hand side have more protection than the bags on the right hand side from the sun and these are my favorite and I want to see it when you first walk in like this is the first thing that you see so she's more of on a display if you may but you see what I mean about blue she loves that pillow <laughs> she looks so cute. Hi, little snuggle bug. Little snuggle bug. Oh, It's Brianna's birthday tomorrow. I'm getting her an edible arrangements, and I don't know what to put on her car. I want to put something embarrassing, but at the same time, I just know that there's just going to be, like, this old guy printing it out, typing it out on his computer. Like, it's... <laughs> I don't know what to do, but it's cute. Look, you can like on this website, you can like, I always order from this. It's like edible, edible arrangements.ca. You can like custom make your card. So I like added me, Brie and Alex, but uh, the, all that I have is happy birthday right now. I don't know what to put. <laughs> the shelves look kind of empty. So I want to add some books. I feel like it would be cute. Cause I saw, I was looking at Emily's photos and I was like, I don't know what I want to add to these shelves while I'm still like building my bag collection. And she had books. This looks cute. And these are all books that I still want to read. Cute. And I have like a little candle. Oh my god, it still has the thing on it. I also put up some pictures of me and my friends, like Andre, Meg, Tila, and everyone. I want to add pictures of me and Brianna because I feel like all the photos that me and Brianna take, I always get on film. Oh sh! I never picked those up. Damn, that sucks. Anyways, um, I want to print some more photos of me and Brianna, like maybe me and my brother, my family, and then just have them up there. I think it's cute. Now I feel like the shelves look more lifestyle-y as opposed to like just my bags. Anyway, I just added these little plants. Do we like them? Are they cute or are they too much? Do they make it look a little cluttered? I think it kind of adds to the boho vibe. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm going to keep it for now, but I might take it down. <laughs> Blue, you're posting so good for the thumbnail. How do you do it? How are you so good at posting for pictures? I changed you so well, didn't I? Okay, this whole side is just basically done now. All that's left in the room. I was just texting Emily. I was just texting Emily and she was like, oh my god, you got it done so quick. Which, by the way, if you guys want to see her decorating my room, like virtually, I'll link it down below. I'm trying to get that video to like 100,000 views. It's at 20,000 right now. But all that's left is I want to put wallpaper on this wall. I'll show you a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Bing! But I just have to paint it and add wallpaper. I actually got the wallpaper in the mail. I haven't opened it yet. I'm literally opening it with it. Ah! Oh my god, almost cut my foot open. This is why I should not be allowed to have power tools or any tools. I feel like you should not cut towards yourself. My mom always yells at me. Ah! Here's the wallpapers. Peelistic removable woven wallpapers. I got these on eBay. They're like this mustard flower pattern. And I think I got four rolls or three rolls. Three. I ordered three. Uno, dos, tres. Ding. Oh my god, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. You know what I need to do is I need to wrap my friends presents because I leave soon and I need to give them the presents before I leave for Canada. <laughs> I like your new toy. 
toy? Is that a squirrel? <laughs> you have your squirrel toy? Is that your squirrel toy? <laughs> okay, I just cleaned the floor. There used to be like a big pile of clothes. You know when you just like, you don't necessarily wear the clothes, you just try it on to see what it looks like before you go out. That's like all of the clothes on the floor were like stuff that I've tried on and like didn't go out. <laughs> so I put them back in my closet. I feel like every girl does that, but this is what it looks like. Almost everything is done in my room except for this part. I put all of the extra, well, like extra boxes and stuff, but all of the extra paint, all of the shelves and stuff like that that I'm gonna put here over in that little nook. Look at my boobs and my butt <laughs> and my wallpaper. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's tip of the day goes to Maybelline. I think that's how you, oh, Deborah on Instagram. She's wearing her Girl Supporting Girls Y2K Pink Velour tracksuit. She did hashtag Girl Supporting Girls. That's just how you become my merch shout of the day. And then today's tip of the day goes to Christmas Adeline on Instagram. <laughs> I feel like every tip of the day always goes to her because she always is tagging me. It's Kennedy Pug on Instagram. Her tip of the day says, I don't have to choose between my financial stability and happiness. I am building wealth by enjoying my life. Boom! You don't have to choose between your work and your personal life. You can have both. And it took me a long time to realize that. I feel like I always would put my finances and my job and everything before and it would obviously cause you to burn out. Every YouTuber talks about that because I feel like YouTubers become YouTubers because they're losers and they don't have a social life and they just like film videos in their room like that. Literally every YouTuber that I know is like that and it's so easy to put your priorities in your job and your finances and working but your emotional and your mental health is priceless. There's not a single penny that could pay for good mental health. You have to work for it. You have to put time towards it. You have to get to know yourself. You have to learn to love yourself and it takes a lot of time just as much as just as much time as it would take to do your job You do not have to choose one over the other You are able to have both and I really encourage you guys to choose both, but I love you guys blue loves you Thank you for watching today's vlog. I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow. Same place same time. Love you guys. Bye Blue's gonna cover you with her paw <laughs>